Hello crafters, this is Kim, and I'm going to show you a new tool that I got to finish off one of my projects this year. Or, well, these are the, the fully finished ones. These don't, I didn't make, I didn't put a design on, so, but regardless of that fact, I got a, one of the hole punches and eyelet pliers in one. Now, as you can see, right here is how you punch the hole in. Each side, one, one side is for the smaller, and the other side is for bigger. You insert, and then you set it with the plier part. You can use basic eyelets, but and it also says you can use with the washer combo. And the it will do all sizes, and it even has a safety on it. And you can remove the cubes as well. So we'll have to look into that more. Use it for all kinds of crafts. So the lair and my finger are there. And we got chipboard, fabric, thin tin, leather, and plastic. And there's that light blue one there that keeps getting a glare. Now, this is by Crocodile. And I got it from Joann's. I actually got it on sale for, I think it was 30 or 40 percent off. And they also gave me another like 20 or 25 percent off because they had the coupon, but I didn't have one. So I was lucky and got a really nice salesperson. So forgive me if this video is a little shaky, but my computer crapped out on me. Well, not the computer, I think something's wrong with the video chip or something somebody told me. But until that technicality is fixed, I'm stuck with just using the Kindle. But so far the video looks pretty decent on it. Actually, it might be a little better, <laughs> better than my uh, regular camera. Now, as I said, right up here, oops, sorry. Right here is where, let's see here, the larger hole punches, and I don't know, I guess you set how big you want the hole, or I haven't experimented, I only have one, I can't even find where I put them, one size of, where are they here, there it goes, one size of eyelet, here. So, I don't really know, you know, how the sizing on here works. One size shows inch, and you can see that says 3 sixteenths, right there. On one side it says inch, and then the other side says centimeters, and that's like on both sides. So, and this side here, I don't know if the what you call will show it. Yeah, there we go. We can show it. All right, let's see if we can get it far enough that you can see both sides. The top, the top one should be the the bigger hole punch, and the bottom should be the thin, the thinner hole punch. Ready? There we go. Yeah, there we go. You, as you can see, it has like a kind of a fork look to it in there. You do that first, and then you stick your eyelid in there, and just give it a push pull. Now, I would go through this whole thing with you, if I had my regular, I'd use my regular camera, but this can pull out. Let's see if I could do it with one hand, and of course it has to be the hand I'm having a problem with this year. Okay, here we go. Here's one 
one side of the cube, we've got this side is the gold or brass, copper, which is the, the one that I have to use for that small eyelet. We've got silver, and then we've got, I don't know if you can see the black nib there, and they say you can remove these too, but I'm not going to try to attempt to do that. And then the part, this part as well comes up and goes around that has like a little indentation. And this is the bigger setting. That would be the one you would use for like the shower curtain eyelets. And you could that, clip that back in. So, let me put this down a moment and see if I can figure out a way to, to show you how to do this, okay? I'm not going to do it on the earrings because I have a few colors that I want, a few different colors that I want to put in it, so. And I haven't decided which ones to put the silver on yet, so. I'll do it on. I'll do it on the card, okay? Give me a second. Let's see if I can do it this way. Let's see if I can hold it up with my foot <laughs> while I do this. Let's see. Okay. We've got, alright, we've got, let's see, the small one. Here goes. Here's the small one. Right okay, here. Okay, there's the small punch. Let's get a spot where I don't care if it punches. Okay, here we go. There we go. There is the punch. Now... We have to put our rivet in there. Frankly, I don't really give a flying fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. Couldn't resist, sorry. Okay. Apparently, this does not want to work for me. These little tiny ones are really hard, especially to work with, especially when one of your fingers does not want to bend much. Whether it be forward or back. Okay, so. Vivit is now in. And hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I've got it in. Where am I here? very difficult to do when you don't have three hands, as you can tell. Or, um, I don't know about a selfie stick, I've never used one. I refuse to use one. Okay, let's hope that's a good spot. Come on. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna have to try this crap. Never try to do something with just two hands. You need somebody else. Unless you have a tripod to put a Kindle on. There we go. I got it on, and now, oh, the safety went on and locked itself. The safety is very, where am I here? 
Safety is right there. Got to push that back in. Open. And here is the rivet on one side. And here it is. Away. On the other. So, I figured I'd show you that in place instead of doing it on some of the fabric bearings I made. And this way, I wouldn't ruin them. Or, at least I hope I wouldn't ruin them until I'm ready to put specific colors in. I will, as, as soon as I can, I will post them to my Etsy, and I will let you know, announce it when I do. I hope you like them, and I hope you let me know what you think of this video. And again, my apologies if it's kind of shaky and crappy, as I said, it's from the Kindle. Thank you for your time, and got a few other projects I'm doing this year, so I'll see you again. Have a good one. Bye.